Greetings everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias. Before this video begins, I just want to do a quick shout out to Manifold 3D. You might recognize them uh, as the company that I made a video about this for. A few, about a week ago, I got this package, which is really cool. Um, he said, thank you for making the video, and he sent me a whole bunch of goodies, including the smaller version of his stand, this new, like, teardown tray, which is pretty cool. A couple bit holders for screwdriver bits, which is really nice considering my screwdrivers are always where I can't access them in a quick amount of time. And this really, really cool color changing, I don't know if you guys can see it, it probably looks not great on camera. Um, but it's like blue when you look at it from the front and it's like pink when you look at it from the back. And on the back of the stand it says Blade Bias. So shout out Manifold 3D. I might do a bonus bias on all the stuff when I actually have used it. Because um, this is the sort of stuff that you don't use every single day. So once I get some opinions on all this stuff, I'll maybe make a bonus bias about it or a whole like updated accessory video. So if you want to see an updated, if you want to see like a video about like cool accessories, maybe leave a comment. Today, we're taking a look at this package, which looks like this because there was a tag here that I tried to rip off uh, and the whole package came with it. So it's no secret. It wasn't a secret anyway because it was in the title. It's the Chroma V3. Now, I actually have the Chroma V2.5 and the Chroma V3, and I already unboxed them in a video. I've already talked about the Chroma V2 at this point, but I unboxed these guys, gosh, like maybe a month ago at this point. The problem was there was a very particular issue, which I talked about in the Chroma 2.5 video, which led my conclusions to be not accurate to the final uh, experience that this product is going to have. So Chroma offered to send me a new one, which was very kind of them, but also the ability to fix the one that I have. And while I won't release the original video, obviously, I will explain what my issue was. And then we'll also, if you want maybe a chance to win this question mark, maybe uh, stick around well, don't stick around for this fit. This is supposed to be a giveaway thing, but I have yet to announce the giveaway. I have yet to figure out how I'm going to do the giveaway. So we'll see how that's going to go. Thank you to Chroma for sending this thing out and providing you guys with a pretty cool giveaway. Uh, I'll make a video in the future announcing that. So my problem with the Chroma was that the 2.5 was holding chaplains and just sticking with me way, way better than the V3 was. Now, obviously the V3 right now has no hardware in, but I noticed specifically any time I did chaplains or rollovers on the safe handle specifically, it would just fly away. In the unboxing video, I dropped this thing probably like 50 times because it just, it just kept flying. But I noticed that like, if I did like a zero G on the bite handle, it felt like okay. And I was like, hmm, maybe that's the friction of this bite handle indicator that's keeping it on my finger, but it felt too strong to ignore. So I ended the video, took out these pivots at the end, and then tried to force the thing open. And I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but I had a theory. I consider myself pretty in tune with how ballast songs flip. And this really felt like, not like the Chroma V3 was supposed to flip, it felt like an error. Specifically, it felt like an error where maybe a step was missed, maybe some weights weren't added, which turned out to be exactly the problem. If I pry this open just a little bit, you can see there's no silver ball at the end of the handle. Whereas if I do it over here, you can see the reflection from the silver right there. In fact, there's no anything. There's no weight pins or... It doesn't look like I have any weight pins here, but regardless, just sometimes when you get... Just when you... Blah, 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 gosh, I can't speak. Sometimes when you're trying to get stuff out, things slip between the cracks. I understand that. And because it wasn't representative of how chromas were going to flip, I decided not to release the video and just talk about the 2.5 instead. So chroma hooked me up, sent me out some extra weights, which I might need even more extra weights because I'm also just now realizing there's like no weights whatsoever in this handle. But whatever, no big deal. I have the V3 to actually properly talk about here. So the 2.5, if you've watched my video on it, I said it feels kind of like an edit light, um, a little less premium, I think I said. It feels a little less premium 
but it flips overall really, really well. I like how it flips a lot. And the Chroma V3 made significant changes to the build quality. This thing feels a lot more premium. It also has this really cool geometric pattern on the blade that you can get and all of these weights to help with tip weight and blade weight. But I couldn't accurately flip mine. When I flipped it on the bite handle, it felt fine, except fans because there was no weight pulling the, the safe handle. But when you flip it on the bite handle, it feels okay, but safe handle flies out from you. So let's check out what the actual Chroma V3 looks like. We got an orange one here, same geometric pattern on the blade. We have updated uh, materials here on the handles, an updated model kind of. It's no longer the kind of Tay Flipper style sandwich with the, or sandwich with the channel spacer, I guess. It's now just two pieces, similar to something like the Calico is now. It's also got these extra kind of width on the ends here and a better Zen nipple. Overall, it feels and looks way better in my opinion. And just as I suspected, flips way better than the other one that I got. Although, hmm. Okay, so now I can actually compare it because before it was like, it was like comparing something that just wasn't designed to flip to something that was like those really crappy CSGO knives, like comparing them to something cheap from Amazon. Like you can't really compare the two. Now I can actually compare the two and see the differences. And immediately I am noticing the balance doesn't feel as smooth. It doesn't feel as, it feels a little more wobbly than the V2.5 in all honesty. I'm not sure if I totally enjoy it. It's, I, I shouldn't say a total. Okay. It's good. Like this thing flips. Honestly, I would say this thing, it kind of feels like an edit versus an edit light. The edit has like that extra bit of, of wobble to it, which some people like because wobble is generally a symptom of handle bias I've found, but I'm someone who enjoys like a not so wobbly experience. So the 2.5 feels a little bit more like the edit light, whereas the V3 to my hand feels a little more handle biased and like the actual full on edit rest its soul because the edit has been discontinued. It feels good. It feels good to have a V3 that can actually chaplain now. Hmm. Interesting. Let's just do the objective. Let's just talk about the objective things first. It flips, it flips very well. I would put this in the upper end, probably above, I'd put it above the squiddy lineup to be honest with you. I like the balance on it way more. I like the feel in the hand. I like the weight, everything way more. Um, little bit of handle bias. So Chaplin's rollovers are feeling pretty good. Fans, fans are a little bit wobbly, but that is in direct comparison to the 2.5. If I get something like, I guess the Slift T was a bad option. If I get something like the Vulp, um, this is, gosh, I keep picking bad, bad ballast songs to compare with because this is the Zippy mod, which lowers the wobble of the Vulp quite a bit. Um, the Orion's pretty wobbly, but I have these spacers in it that make it way less wobbly. Okay. Um, Anyway, it's a little bit wobbly in fans, but it's not a big deal. If it means extra extra stick in chaplains or something like that, I'll take it. It flips good, man. The Chroma is a good, pretty good product all in all. I will be completely honest. I think I like the relative little tiny extra bit of neutrality that you get from the 2.5. 2.5 feels a little bit more flowy to me. Um, but like I said, we're talking about like the difference between the edit and the edit light. And I'm actually in the minority of people who enjoy the edit light over the edit. So I think in the like grander scheme of things, more people will probably appreciate the balance changes to the two point or to the V3. Um, another thing to mention actually that I forgot is that Chroma said that he made significant increases into the durability and the build of them. 
Now this one, I won't lie, we can use these new tools over here from Manifold. This one feels loose, but I don't think it is, no. So I'm not gonna harp on the, I'm not gonna harp on the tolerances of a plastic ballast song. I think most people know at this point, plastic ballast songs aren't really where it's at in terms of like full on tolerances. Also tuning washers, tightening washers. I love it. Okay. So yeah, there's still like, there's still tap and everything, but again, plastic ballast song, it makes sense. I'm not gonna hold that against it. It does feel more well put together than the 2.5. Like it doesn't, it doesn't clack at every possible convenience, I guess. Whereas this thing, this thing's noisy. You can hear it shaking around a lot. It doesn't feel as solid as the V3, which is pretty much where that, um, which is pretty much where that different build is going to come from. So very good on that front. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty good plastic ballast song. I like it. I think this thing retails for like 55 bucks as well, which is really good. 50 or $60, somewhere in like the Squiddy B range. And I would say that this flips better than the Squiddy B. Flips better than the Calico? I don't know. Although... I've been hearing a lot of rumblings of Tay just not, like, communicating with people about their orders. So I don't even know if I could, like, recommend a Calico at this point right now. But it flips good, man. I think it is an improvement in all of the build. But to my preferences, I would pick the balance of the 2.5 still. Although this is not like hilariously unbalanced like it was when I tried this V3. This still feels good. I think it's a worthwhile upgrade. Uh, especially because one thing that Chroma does that's really cool is Chroma offers um, discount codes to people who bought any of their previous products when they upgrade. So that's pretty cool. Gives you an extra incentive to upgrade. Doesn't make you feel like you would buy something that just goes out of style immediately. Like when a maker releases a new product and then like barely delivers them and then is already talking about their next stuff. I can understand how you could feel a little bit slighted in that case. So this kind of helps people um, be like, oh yeah, I can buy into that ecosystem. Which is it's a very, very, very cool thing. Very honorable thing that Chroma is doing. But I like it. It's pretty cool. I think the V3s actually just li went live like two days ago as I'm filming this. Um, so if you want to check them out, their Instagram is Chroma Ballason. I believe they have a website as well, but just go to the Instagram and you can figure out everything from there. And yeah, flips very good. So like I said, I believe that this orange one was meant to be a giveaway. Let me just scroll through me and Chroma's conversations really quickly. Um, if I can find them quick enough, I might not be able to. Um, but I believe this was sent over with the intention that I would do a giveaway of some sort. I don't know like any of the requirements that they sent over. I'll send you a new one and a few spare weights and silencers. You can disassemble and fix yours. Make a giveaway of the time of release for America only, and I can make one for everywhere. Okay. So this is going to be a giveaway. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the giveaway, to be perfectly honest with you. Ty was the one who handled the giveaway when we gave away the Vulp at 3K, I think it was. So I'll have to ask him how he ended up doing it. But stay tuned. In the near future, I will post a video on this channel, how you can enter and how you can possibly win this exact orange chroma. But until then, thank you to everyone for watching. Thank you to Chroma for sending this thing out and offering to help me fix mine. Very, very kind of you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.